to each of you today. Be a servant. When that happens, then God will choose you and me. After he chooses us, and that being chosen, when we continue in that, then with the Holy Trinity, him and me, we become a friend with God. Each of you. Parents are good. But, however, when people get older, our parents, do you like parents or do you like friends? You like friends more. Our ancestors say you sell your parents to, to buy friends. So who's better than your parents, it says. So it's, it seems like people like friends better. But God says that's true. You and I, let's be friends. When I was young, in our household, the children, I was the oldest son. I know the loneliness of the, the, the oldest child. If I had an older brother, when I went when I go to elementary school, I wouldn't be beat up by the older people. I didn't have an older brother. I could, you know, I could win over somebody, but because he had an older brother, I have to lose to him. So my son, who is the oldest son, uh, who is a doctor, I said, I'm your older brother. So that's how I lived. So then he really, when he went to school, he beat somebody. He got beat up by somebody. He came to me. I went even to their household, to that house, because I'm his older brother. Each of you, how have you lived your relation, uh, life in your relationship with your children? If it were now, I wouldn't go. But at that time, I didn't know forced the repentance. I attended church, but I was a fake Christian. Each of you, the worldly ways, no matter how much you try, there's no answer. It, our education department, just because we changed the system, that uh, don't look down on it. There's no answer. They try this method, that method. They change it all the time. It's, uh, every, people, when they go there, after they exp they exp eat expensive stuff, they go and exercise to try to to try to to try to uh, uh, lose weight and work it off. And then the young people, they spin on their heads. Does that mean that that brings joy or happiness? Does it work? No, it doesn't work. So they tried this and that, all sorts of different ways. Our ancestors in the past, what did they do at that time? They didn't have clothes. They didn't. They didn't have clothes, much clothes to to wear. So now it's all it, the it, the shape is a little bit different, but the cultural cultural excuse me department we have just demon inside. So they look, they try this and that methods, but it doesn't work. It's all the worldly the world doesn't the worldly ways. There's there's very limited ways, but it doesn't work. The truth is the the word is the truth, and it's everlasting. There's only this that. That is the true answer. Do you say Amen? So today, in the 66 books of the Bible, God, first He tells us to be a servant. So what is, what's it mean to be a servant, to become a servant? Why is it God Almighty, God of love, God of blessings? He loved us so much, what would I not give you? Romans 8.32. He even said it to that point. And Hebrews 6.14. Surely, receive blessings, I'll give you blessings. He will say that. Why, is, why does he tell us to be a servant? You and I, being a servant, something's not working out, you're not successful because you're a person that has not been a servant. If you become a servant, wherever you go, you'll be successful. So this inadequate servant, wherever I go in the world, why is it people, they welcome me? They say they like it when I'm there? Because how can I be a servant of yours? That's my mindset. I went with a deacon to eat eat somewhere. I said, I'm a servant. How can I help them so that I can live as a servant? How can I show my life as a servant to them? How much I try. The, I become try to, I try to be a servant, but I couldn't. But there was no opportunity. After we ate when on our way out, I got up and I went. So he went first. I cleaned his shoes. You know, you don't have to clean elsewhere. You can you know, you can uh, clean your shoes on the sleeves. The, the husbands try to sh uh, clean your wife's shoes, who dislikes it? The wives, you should try to clean your husband's shoes, who dislikes it? We're not a servant. So you think, oh, this jerk. So the man says, hey, you, you woman. So, you know, it's like playing ping pong, you blame each other. Uh, so you, pl uh, if you become a servant, that's why you don't, if you become a proper servant, you won't have arguments. But. Um, like a restaurant says, we'll treat you like a king. The customer's like a king. They say, sit here, sit there, eat this, eat that. That's not a good servant. I don't want to go there, that house, uh, that restaurant. So how is it that you're living, that you have bad economic situation? God, what about God? God, he's a God of love. He's almighty. He's telling us from the very beginning, why would he tell us to be a servant? So then each of you, Isaiah, 
41 verse 8. We looked that up. Let's read that. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, descendants of Abraham, my friend. Amen. So, Pastor, uh, it's talking about servant, fr uh, being chosen, and friend. Why do, is this the main servant? Sermon. P point of the sermon. This is all of the 66 books of the Bible. If we just eat it and get nourished by it, miracles will happen. So what happens when we do this? So you and I, in verse 10, not making it ours, but we, we're saying these verse, then that's a lie. That's, uh, do not fear. I'm your father. I'm your God, he says. Like, you know, don't, uh, don't be surprised at your own fart. Uh, uh, in verse 10, if we... Uh, we don't really believe in it. Isaiah 41 verse 10 on. Pastor to verse 13. We They have to go to that point. Do all of that. Verse 13. Let's read to verse 12. From verse 10 on. We want to receive these blessings, right? God being with us. We want to receive that blessing, right? To receive that blessings, we have to be a servant. To the, In the world, there's only two types of servants. Romans chapter 6 verse 16. When we see, look there, the servant of Christ. There's the servant of Christ. By doing forced out repentance, those who are called and they are a servant of Christ. And outside of that, then they're a servant of demons. There's only two, these two types of servants. So here, when we become a servant of Christ, then after that, our actions, what we, how it's changed, they become a godly person. That's when they're chosen. It's not that who would choose them, Psalms 4, 3, Jehovah himself chooses them. So it's not that anybody is chosen. The fakes, they say, I've been chosen since I was born. Are they a brother of uh, Buddha? But saying, you're not supposed, you can't say things like that. Us being chosen. When we're not stained by the worldly ways, great is the mystery of godliness. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, those who are who are part of that, who are qualified for that, who are that God chooses. People go to church yet they're not they've not been chosen, so they end up in hell. They've not been chosen, so there's no answers to prayers because they have not been chosen. Those who have not been a servant, God does not choose them. God, when you're not chosen, you can't receive salvation. Second Peter chapter one verse ten and eleven. Through Christ, when we become a servant and we're called and we're chosen, that's that we're called. Then He chooses us. Otherwise, there's no salvation. You receive prayer, you pray, but you don't. Why do you not receive answers to prayers and you live the same way as fake Christians? Romans eleven seven. Because we have not been chosen, we pray, but there's no answers to prayers from God. So. You want to receive answers to prayers, right? Verse 10 to verse 13. Let's read, let's read to verse 12. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all these, all those who are angered at you will be shamed and dishonored. Those who contend with you will be as nothing and will perish. You will seek those who quarrel with you, but they will, you will not find them, for those who war with you will be as nothing and non-existent. Amen. And after that, when you read the verses after that, after you become a pastor, the, the, it talks about the qualification of being a pastor. So if that's the case, then each of you, God, you want God to be with you. Not if if the God is with them, that person will go to heaven. If God is with them, all of your problems will be resolved for that person. If God is with you, he who is he? Psalms 97 verse 9. No matter what religion, the demon of any religion, he's the highest of all spirits. All the, the world is all demons, but he's the highest of all spirits. He's the spirit of Jehovah God. So the, this is the reason why we believe in God. So. The fake demon religions, they all talk about God as well. They talk about God as well. That's why those with demon inside, they, they can be deceived and say all the religions are the same. Those who say the religions are the same, they have demon inside. To the demons, they're the same. That's why God. So, you say God, God. But the true God, if you don't know the true God, then you're with demon inside and you're hellward bound. That's John 17.3. So your if you your spirit, soul wants to go to heaven, if your spirit wants to go to heaven, you have to know the true God. So people go around different churches and they don't even know the true God, and yet they say they call themselves elders, deacons, pastors. They're all fakes. Then the true God is who? Jeremiah ten ten. Only Jehovah is the true God. So therefore, you if you don't know Jehovah, you no matter how much you do good works, what's coming back to you? 
instead of blessings. There's only thorns instead of any blessings. You, did you work so hard and diligently? So only calamities will come back to you. Your children will receive only calamities. When you, that's when you don't know Jehovah. It's not what I'm saying. Jeremiah 12, 13. It's the word of God. So each of you then this hour, coming here, being a servant, being chosen, and being a friend. Oh, you're giving strange words today. So let's say, uh, this 20 years ago, we shared a sermon in the United States. The fakes, they were really, uh, really all frustrated and upset. So in verse 8 and verse 9, it's the same meaning in verse 10. He helps us. We, we have to be a servant. Uh, we have to be a servant and be chosen for him to help us. It says, do not fear, and yet we fear. It says, do not be surprised, and yet people are so surprised. So here, each of you, when there's a loud noise, go on, then everybody gets so surprised. They're, they're deep inside. So we we were in a thousand square feet a church. In, within the within the thousand square feet, we had the sermon, the bathroom, the kitchen, the dining area. So what's left then? So we're just on the street. When we were giving worship service there, and there was a car accident, there was a big crash sound. Then, during, you know, even during the service, if you have demon inside, they get all shocked, all stressed. So it says, "Do not be surprised." God, when God is with us, you're not surprised. So each one, each, if you're not, if God is not with you, that's why you're so surprised. That's why you have fear. So that's why. When somebody hits you and then they, they, you jump in fright, then that they have a demon inside. No matter how much you try, you try. If, if you're surprised or if fear comes, if fear comes, you fall into ruins according to your fears. When you're surprised and shocked, then it'll, you fall into ruins according to that. Those with demon inside, when you cast out the demons, what does it say? At that time, when I went, then you were surprised. That's when I. That's when the demon came in. The demon says that. That's when I came in. Demon, demon. When did you come in? Oh, I went there I, when they were drinking. That's when I went right in to them. The demon says, "The highest of all spirits, the Lord Jehovah, to you, when He helps us, all those demons will be cast out. Will all be chased out. Receiving this, this is living a life of faith. We're here to receive this, each of you." Does you, can you control your heart the way you want when you have sin? First John chapter 3, verse 8, the demons attach itself. So you end up saying things you don't even want to say. You say, say, I can't do this. I shouldn't do this. And yet you end up doing it. You do those kind of things. Each of you right now, what's it saying? Do you want to receive help? Do you, do you want God to be with you? Those who are enemies with you, do you want them to be as nothing? Do you want that? He will do it all for us. He'll do it all for us, but what must you do? You have to be a servant. So therefore, this, these words that say it's for you to be a servant, nobody wants to hear it. But those who are Christians, when you go to church, they talk about Jesus. But these days, it's Christ is missing, then it's been preached that if you have Christ, if, if Christ is missing, then that's your homeward bound. So now everybody says, Jesus Christ. It, take out your hand. Is the palm of your hand different, separate from your hand? Now you know. So palm of the hand and the back of your hand is Jesus Christ. It's together. Before they say Jesus, Jesus. They only talk about Jesus, not Christ. So Jesus, if you're talking about Jesus, then you have to be a servant. You have to, this incredible, Holy Trinity being with us and helping us. We want to receive these blessings, right? We wanted this to help, right? That's how we can go to heaven, right? Do you say amen? So the problems that we have on this land, resolving that, having that resolved, that's amen, right? The highest of all spirit is the true God, right? The true God, only the true God is the one who helps, is the Lord who helps you and me. So which religion has the Lord? Which religion have Jehovah? Which religion has Jehovah? Other religions, when they, they have demon inside, it doesn't work. But when you come here, the demons uh, leave. Your problems will be resolved. Let's all receive these blessings. We came here to receive these blessings. So therefore, God, why did he say that we're a servant? Because we have to be a servant? Because Jesus came as a servant. He came as a servant who helps you and me. By word, it's easy to say, a servant. But if to be a slave, a servant, you have to help according to what the owner wants, a servant or a slave. So if you want to be the right servant or slave, you have to properly know the owner. Who's the one properly knows, knowing the owner? Who's the one that properly knows the owner? Each of you, between husband and wife? Just, do, you, do you know the heart of your wife? Do you know the heart of your husband? Proverbs 14.10, it says, we don't know the heart of our spouse. So who would know? The Holy Trinity knows. So the Holy Trinity knows. And... 
And how does it make it so that we would help our spouse? John 14, 26, you have to let us, you have to teach it all to us for us to be, to be able to know. We are spouses, husband and wife, but we're not able to properly know what our spouse wants and we don't help them properly. That's why there's divorce. But they say they may know, but they, they don't do anything. They don't, but God knows all of them. We didn't divorce, you may say, you, you fool, you're deceived. You have demon inside. You, you're deceived by the evil spirit of ancestors and your own, uh, John 8, 44, you're deceived. And the evil spirit of, uh, of your own sins. So God knows that you're di divorced just because you live just because you live in the same household doesn't mean you're not divorced. You, if your heart is not with them, then you, that's already divorced. You, you can't receive blessings living like that. Here, for God to tell us to be a slave or a servant, now let's look that up. Second Corinthians 4, 5. Do we, you, did you say Jesus? If you said Jesus, because of Jesus, you, you have to be a slave, a servant. So people would say the word Jesus, but where are their servants and slaves? So today when you go to church, there's so many arguments and fighting, and there's so many people picking on each other. There's the gathering of demons. Where is there a servant there amongst them? They talk about Jesus, but there's none who is a servant. That's why it's all a gathering of fakes. The servant, a slave, does according to what the owner tells them to do. Have you see, seen a slave get together and, and get have a meeting? No. Sir, servant, slaves, they just do according to what is commanded them. Yet, why do they have meetings at church and meetings of sin? Because they're fakes. There's none who's a servant, in other words. There's none who's a slave. There's only goats. There's no lambs there. That's why. That's why they end up only having to have a meeting. And yet, they expect to receive salvation. Second Corinthians 4, 5. What is a slave? Let's read that. For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus as Lord, and ourselves as your bondservants, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Jesus, because of his name, that's why I'm your slave. So there, yes. If slaves are getting together, what? why is there a committee meeting needed? Why is there excuses needed? There's no... Why do, is it that we don't receive God's help? Why is it that God's not with us? Why is it that we have enemies? And yet, God says He'll help us, Romans 12, 19. And yet, why doesn't He deal with our enemies? Because we have not been a servant or a slave. Jesus, we talk about Jesus. If we said Jesus, then we have to be a slave. And what's in front? The sharing we don't have time for that in a short period of time if we have uh, said Jesus Christ then we have to be a slave because of Jesus I'm a slave I'm a servant but the fakes who's the fakes they say Jesus and yet no nope, they're not a slave or a servant at all when you meet them so they're they're so arrogant and boastful pompous and so there why is it that God is you say God is will be with you but he doesn't solve your problems. Why is it that you say God is with you, and yet all your wishes are not fulfilled? Why is it that you don't have conviction of salvation and you're living in your problems? Because you have not become a servant or a slave. Who is the servant or a slave? Because of Jesus. By, because of his name, we're a slave. Between husband and wife, to the, to the husband, have you become a servant, a female servant? And does, did the husband say he didn't like that? The husbands then. Have you become a servant, a male servant to your wife? If you're a male servant to your wife, did the wife said that she didn't like it? By, by word we say, I'll treat you as your highness and I'll be a servant. But then you say, do this, do that. And I want this, I want that. That's why things don't work out for you. There's no, there's no servant like that. There's no slave like that, the owner. Yesterday evening, if you ate it like this, if you ate this, ah, up until now, when I see them, this. If I make this kind of soup uh, this early morning, they would like it. That's a slave. They s make whatever they want, and they say, eat this, eat that. Then the people, it won't work out for them. The people, the, they don't have a good relationship with their spouse. Children aren't working out for them. Your problems are not resolved. You have not become a slave or servant. Today, because of Jesus, we are a slave or a servant. So J Jesus came on this land as, as how, as what? As a servant to us. That's how he properly helps us. Uh, it, up until now, each of you, the fact that Jesus came as a servant, we have to meet him. The you and I, however, we're arrogant, we're so exalted, we don't want to be a servant. We exalt ourselves, we're, we're so lukewarm. So we have to humble ourselves and lower ourselves. That's how we can meet Jesus, who's a servant. That's why, through the blood of Christ, when I'm a sinner of this and that sin, when we confess that, we lower ourselves. How much people did not repent, so they're so dirty. 
those with demon inside, when I see them, so, so they're dirty, hard, hard to tolerate. They exalt themselves by themselves. Jesus, you can, they're not able to go and see Jesus who came as a servant. The fact that God is not with you because he is not because you have not humbled yourself. When you lower yourself, God will be with you. If you want to be a servant through the blood of Christ, you have to do four step repentance. When you try that, when you do that, what's the result that comes forth? Without you even knowing, you become more humble. You lower yourself. You continue to humble yourself and lower yourself. So you say there's nothing for you to repent now. The people, financial, financially, you're not, things aren't working out for you. Your ancestors, starting from your ancestors, the, things didn't work out for them. You're descendants of somebody wicked. Uh, First Peter 1.18, it came down as an inheritance, so things aren't working out for you financially. Our ancestors were crazy for money. They're really so dirty. They had all sorts of uh, wickedness and evil. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. I'm a descendant of them. So, Father, please forgive me this sin. That's what my ancestors have said. If you, if you want to resolve that, then financially, when you repent that, then your financial problems will be resolved. Even though you ruined your life and you're older and it's too late, even so, you can do well. Today, you become a servant. Everything will work out well for you. It's bound to all work out. Do not be discouraged. Galatians 3:28, male or female, regardless, regardless of age, regardless of male or female. Oh, pastor. You know, the face reader read me, and I uh, read my face, and they said, I, I have, uh, I'm just like a fox. No, even, I, even there are, there are fox, there are, I'm a mink, says, you can use, you can be used preciously, those with the, there's, you can't hardly catch a mink, and uh, there aren't, I don't know if it's a mink or something like that, a cr critter like that. But, yeah, whiskers, you can use that for a, uh, with uh, as a brush. So they don't have, it's very expensive, the, the paintbrush. And yet those who don't even know about that, don't just ask for the, the paintbrush with, uh, with mink whiskers. No, you have to know how to use the uh, paintbrushes. If you use paintbrushes that are you already feel different when you put the ink on. Uh, then you do it. It works well. Today, we live a life of faith without being a servant. My children, the more time passes, we'll fall into ruins even more and more. Let's correct that, even though we fell into ruins before. We're here to correct that and fix that. You say amen to change that. Each of you, do, when you do four-step repentance, you continue to lower yourself without you even knowing. The, what is it? Do you have sickness? Your ancestors. You have to repent. Your ancestors committed a lot of sins of immorality. They went to, they went, they had herbal medicine to address that. When you continue to, to do that, you say you're weak. God has made us so that we we'll be humble and weak. When you continue to be thankful and repent, then that sickness will de will de leave. Psalms 100 verse 3, and you'll be healed according to Psalms 100 verse 3. When you become a servant, a slave, then what? Because Jesus is a slave and a servant, because of Jesus, you and I, we have to be a slave as well. To be a slave, through forced our repentance, we have to continue to repent and humble ourselves. When, as much as we don't do forced our repentance, the demons attach itself. First John chapter 3, verse 8, when demons attach itself, no matter how much you try to do well, there's no one that we can win over demons. Only Holy Spirit wins over demons. So therefore, you and I, there's nothing that works out according to the way we want, and our children. The parents may say, if the child does this, they, they would really like it, but yet the child goes in a good way and end up going the wrong way later on, and later they, they give up. Oh, you know, you thought, oh, and then you think you don't have good luck with your spouse. When you don't repent, you don't go into Christ, you don't have good luck with your spouse, you don't have blessings of your spouse. But when you do, I want to just be a lamb. When you, if you're a spouse that does four-step repentance, when you pinch a lamb, it doesn't say, hey, you pinched me. That's, that's, if you eat its uh, offspring, it doesn't say, hey, why'd you eat my offspring? When you milk it and bathe it, it says, oh, it doesn't say, hey, why'd you do that? No, the lamb has no response. It doesn't say anything back. The lamb, that's a, did you meet your spouse well? Yeah, I met you well as well. So when you, when you say, do this, I would say, Amen. So whatever she says, I, uh, Amen comes forth. Why? All the, the whole world is for our, my sake. Second Corinthians 4.15, it's for my sake the whole world is. So each of you, God, 
When you do forced up repentance, there's something he gives us immediately, that God gives us immediately. When you lived as a fake, you thought it was okay, but when you do forced up repentance, more problems arise. More problems arise. Now, let's see, the fact that we did bad, you so, have to die because of cancer, and not only that, you, you would have a lot of pain and torment, and you and your descendants have to die. When you cover that, it seems like there's nothing. When you do forced up repentance and you uncover that, and you realize there's maggots and everything underneath, the more you try to uncover it, the worse it gets. That's forced up repentance. You see all the bad things. So that's why when you do forced up repentance in Christ, you become a slave, a servant. So when you become a slave in Christ, so you, you think that we'll listen well to him, but we don't. For we did forced up repentance. All sorts of problems that we didn't have before co comes up. We don't realize the sins of our ancestors and our own sins have been covered. You know, when it's been covered, you know, even though it's rotten, it doesn't even seem to smell, but inside it's all rotten. When you do forced up repentance, you can't cover it. Oh, there's uh, there's maggots and everything. The, it smell, the stench stinks. The reality comes up like that. That's what God, Proverbs 29, 19, the, the servant, if you say it, they don't listen. When you do force their repentance, why is it that I only have more problems? You must, when you mumble like that on a day of rain, just like it's been poured on, something like uh, something that's been rained on, something that's been eaten up, you mumble and complain. God knows this. A servant, when you say it by words, they don't listen. But that's why God gives you difficulty. That God. So when you are in a lot of pain, the person that doesn't want to go to the hospital ends up going to the hospital. Then when they're really s sick, they say, Oh God, they cry out, Oh God. They cry out to God. God makes us as a servant. After we become a servant, the, what our ancestors have done up until, up until now, what I've done up until now, what's been covered will be uncovered. So when you first do start forced up repentance, why is it that you go to church and receive blessings? Why are there more issues that come up? If you go to the uh, bad doctor, they, they, they don't know that... You know, they don't diagnose you with anything. They think you're fine. But when you go to a good doctor, they diagnose you. You know, your eyes are like this. Your heart is like this. How come you have so many different diseases and sickness that, that diagnose when you become a servant? It's the image that comes to us. So it's what happens to us when we don't listen. Don't just do nothing and not listen. But according to how God moves you, obey that. So continue to when you continue to repent, that servant, where does it go? They go to the point of being chosen. So, each of you, when you do forced repentance, when you, even though you don't repent the sins of your ancestors and you just repent your own sins, strange things happen. Strange events will occur. Uh, strange events will occur. So there are people who experience that. When you go to the uh, specialist doctor, then they diagnose the different sickness and sick disease. When you repent that, as your sins, uh, repent the sins of your ancestors and your own sins, you become a person that's not stained by the world, a godly person. That's why great is the mystery of godliness. Among the mystery, the biggest of the mystery is godliness. That's First Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. So here, well, how do you become godly? When do you become godly? When you repent the sins of your ancestors and your own sins, and you do force the repentance with it. You and I, from the seed of being a slave, in this, from the seed of meeting Jesus, from the seed, what kind of person do we become? We become a person that's not stained by the worldly ways. That's godliness. James chapter one verse twenty-seven. So therefore, each of you in this world. If you become a, you know, even if you're a government official, if you even got a hundred dollars and, or even if you got a thousand dollars, you, you know, you get fired and that your retirement goes away if they find out later. Just because of that doesn't they make them become a, a godly person. No matter how much they try to control your behavior and personality, the beast, a beast who try to control the behavior, is still a beast. Your conscience has to be restored for you to. So each of you, when we repent the sins of our ancestors and continue to do forced our repentance, we become a godly person that's not stained by the worldly ways. After we become this godly person, wherever you put them, they won't uh, take corruption, they won't take bribes, they, they won't be stained because they're not stained by the worldly ways. There's only this path. So there, however, pastor, the salary is low. If you, and you can't, you can't even uh, pay for your children's tuition and will starve. No, don't say the words of demons. If we're just clean. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, He has set the blessing before us. Receive the infinite blessing, uh, abundant blessing set before us. If we're just godly, then we'll receive all the blessings already set for us. Set before us. It will work. From the place of being a slave or a servant, when you become a lamb, and in peace and comfort. So the reason you're not able to receive blessings, so somebody goes and they throw away a pa piece of paper. Oh, the, If you say, hey, Oh, or if you think, 
I'm a servant, it's for me to pick up. But instead you think, oh, which jerk threw this paper away and you pick it up. You're not a servant. So you don't receive the blessings of a servant if you have that kind of mindset. Each of you, when there's trash somewhere, what do you do? I think when I see this, I say, I'm about to pick it up. And I say, oh, I think, oh, what jerks that threw this away? Then because of that, I do the deeds of receiving blessings, but then I flip it, I, I pour it out, I spill it all out. And don't just say, hey, why did I just pick it up and just throw it away and just... Uh, but Lord, I've gone outside of Christ. I've not become a servant, and I've said bad things again. Please forgive me. Then you won't have any past. Even so, you'll do well. Let's live life receiving this blessings. Do you say Amen? So therefore, when we continue to do this, God says, "Oh, He's not being stained by the worldly ways." So, when there's work to do, a deacon, wherever you go, do you say, "Oh, you you make work"? No, wherever you go, you or do you say, "Oh, wherever you go." There's, uh, you give me an opportunity for blessings. It becomes the second, but so without saying amen, but why do you think with your head and you say that's right? Why do you think with your head knowledge? No, that shouldn't be the case. When you do it with your head, when, you have, when that happens, you have to have a genuine amen. If, so you can say oh, amen, but one or the other, you have to do it. So each of you, here right now, not being stained by the worldly ways when you become that person. God chooses us. When God chooses us, according to our prayers, we'll receive answers to prayers. That's, that's Romans 11, 7. So you, each of you attending church and you receive answers to prayers, how good would that be? But when you are chosen, when you become a servant and you're called by Christ, the fact that you came here, you came here because you're, you're called by Christ. The fakes say that they came on their own. No matter, no matter how much you try, if you come on your own, even if you become a pastor, there's no sal salvation. First Peter 5.10, whoever it is, God called us in Christ. Those who We have to be a person that are called to go to heaven. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Those who are the called, if you want to become that, you have to go into Christ. So in Christ, you have to go into four-step repentance. From there, God calls us. From, and he calls us and when you continue in being a servant and a slave and you're not stained by the worldly ways then we become a person that's chosen after we become chosen from being called then we meet the Lord who helps that person that's Psalms 32 verse 5 and 6 do not fear do not be surprised you can say all sorts of things but do you have enemies that form emerge no he'll take the responsibility no matter how much we try to memorize it doesn't become ours we have to be a servant we have to be a slave we have to be chosen and after that the person that meets the Lord after that then you and I from then on James chapter 2 verse 23 we become an, uh, an a friend with God those who have married and oh they're younger couples is it hard? Who is it easier to talk to when you face difficulty to your parents or to your friends? That's why ancestors uh, in Korea have a saying that you, you, sell, you, you sell your parents to buy friends and you follow your friends to go to uh, Gangnam. Uh, our ancestors, they didn't have... They, they didn't... You know, go south, south, of, uh, south of the river. But our ancestors, they were just like uh, frogs in a pond. They, they said the right things. You sell your parents to buy friends. So if you don't have your children, if you don't rear your children properly because of, of friends, they sell off their parents. When they like friends, they listen to the words of friends instead of the parents. So many people said that have done that here, that kind of person, because they don't have the re their real friend, God. So to the friends, they have all sorts of commitment. And then when they be the friends betray, they then that you're really suffering so much. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, the, you know, I bought him meals and he did. Micah 7, verse 5 and 6, don't trust anybody. What The only thing that you should, only person that you should trust is the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is our best friend, none other. And we, you can say all the mysteries and secrets with him. He doesn't make us him. No matter you say all sorts of things, he surely does not make us him. No matter how much you make him upset, he doesn't say, "Hey, I'm gonna say or uh, say that." I'm not gonna. He, he doesn't tell. Why do we leave a great friend? A great friend is that, and you suffer. He, he the friend who helps us immediately. He, the friend who resolves all of our problems. We came here to receive this blessings today. We have to receive this blessings. We have to receive this blessings. You say Amen. 
So therefore, be a servant, be a slave, then I will choose you. Then when that happens, that's when, that's, that's the living faith. You and I, that's when we can be friends. So therefore, when you hear, uh, that, that pastor, are they arrogant? They're like friends with God. No, they're, the word says that we can do that. How great the relationship is between the two. Hey. We have to be like this for us to be friends. When you try to do this, do they have? Can people be like this? No. It, it doesn't work that way. What? Faith. The faith of being made righteous, that that's how we can be a friend of God. So people say, believe. People tell you to believe. That's why faith first is becoming his, his son. Become his son, be, become his son. How good is the relationship between father and son that they become like friends? James 2, 23, let's read that. And the scripture was fulfilled which says, And Abraham believed God and he was reckoned to him as righteousness and he was called the friend of God. Amen. Between God and me, we have to be friends. Each of you, we can receive this kind of blessings and promise. What is faith? being a son of God. There's so many people who don't even know this. Galatians, we shared that last time, chapter 3, verse 26. So today, John chapter 1, verse 12, what is faith? Us becoming his son, you becoming his son. Each of you being chosen when we have a right relationship with God and be his son. Then after that, we become a friend with God. Each of you between when a child and a mother, when they have a good relationship, they're just like friends. They're like an older sister and like a friend and like a mother and like a younger sister also. So like, that's a relationship between a child and mother. They're like a father, an older brother, like a friend. You have to be able to have all of this. So if you, if you, you have the heart of wanting all of that, why is it, it doesn't work? Being a servant, being chosen, and being a friend. You have to have these verse first. Without that verse, it doesn't work. That's with this verse, let's in peace, let's live life in this society and lead the society. When you have a child like that, this, uh, they go finish work early and they go home right away when they finish work. Even though by words they say father, but they talk like friends. So, when you have not repented, they say to the father, Hey you, you said something in the past, and then I'm going to tell mom, and then they don't want to be friends anymore. But God, He forgives us. He helps us. He doesn't say, hey, I'm going to tell everybody else about this. No, he doesn't say that. Each of you. Why is it that you're, you're not having a relationship like that with your children? Because you don't have faith. Here today, what is this faith? Being made righteous, having happiness. When you're righteous, Proverbs 10, 24, it will be done according to your wish, according to your wishes. What is that? That's being a friend of God. We're here to receive this blessing. Do you say amen? Do not fear. Do not be surprised that I will be with you. This blessing is when we are a servant and be chosen and we have to be a friend. So that path, we have to slay. First is through the mystery of Christ, the four-step repentance. So when you continue to endure and do that till the end, four-step repentance, then what's working the most hard for you, more difficult, for, most difficult for you, realize that this hour, me? After, when he goes back, there's no more. My and I don't have a family. It's all shattered and broken. What is it that's not working? Hold on to that and repent. Then God will give back to you. He will make everything work out for you, because He is Almighty. Why? Because He's our best friend. No other. And there's none other. We live a life of faith so that we can receive these blessings. This inadequate servant. Don't look at me, but rather each of you, even now. So don't just spend your time sitting down when things aren't working out for you financially. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. My ancestors, they were crazy for money. They must have been crazy for money. And uh, they were crazy for all, all sorts of evil. That's why, because of that, things aren't working out for me. When you continue, just continue to repent that which is not working out for you. So don't actually insult your, or say bad things about your ancestors. What comes forth from your, the heart, the first person, for every person, the first sin that comes forth from the heart is the root of all, is evil, the root of all sorts of evil, which is the love of money is the root of all sorts of, le of evil. But when you, what are they going to do? That sin comes forth for, from everybody. But when you divorce the repentance, he forgives all of, the, of all of those sins for us. That's how we can be a friend of God when we continue to repent. So first, what must we do? What must become a slave? Second, be 
uh, slave, and then the third is uh, be a friend. The, the, what, what a precious promise this is. We just do this from verse 10. It says, do not fear. Do not be surprised. Did, did, are you surprised that your own your fart? No, saying things like this. If you're don't become a slave and be chosen and then become a friend, it's of no use. That's right. Matthew twenty twenty seven. When we become a servant, this is what he'll make us. Each of you, you everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to achieve success. We want all of our children to achieve success. So my. My husband, my wife, we want uh, them to be successful. Why is it doesn't work? We are not. Uh, we don't know how to humble ourselves, lower ourselves. We're we're not a slave. Verse 27. Let's read Matthew 20:27. 20, and whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Amen. You want to be a uh, high? Said high. You want to be successful. Uh, the mo receive the highest success. There's nothing that you learn, and you are just goofing off at school. Do not, do not be discouraged. When you humble yourself, He will exalt us. What did God say? Do you want to be set high above? Do you want to be the best? What did God say for us to do? It's so easy. It's so easy, and yet you say go to school and study, study, and the the, the child says study, study, dista, dista. So they don't do it. No matter what your circumstance and situation is, if you want to be the best, let's be a servant. Let's be a slave. The way for us to be a servant is only through four-step repentance. When you do four-step repentance, you can uh, understand whatever it is. So what is love? That's understanding. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. What is the God, love of God? It's the heart of understanding. When you don't have understanding, then that's where you argue. That's where there's separation. There's where it's, that's where people uh, separate out and divide up. So when you have understanding, you say, yes, of course, of course. If it were me, I would have been even worse. When you have that kind of understanding, what kind of life are you is in front of you, Pastor? No matter how much I try, it doesn't work. You may say, um, su such a bad person. It says, if a bad person. You know, how come you only eat? It says a person like that. It says to separate. How come you only hear and understand that? A, s a servant. Is there? If you just to do according to what the owner wants, when you're a servant, let's each of you, let's be a servant, a slave. Then God will set us high above all the nations. No matter what circumstance and situation you're in, He'll make it better for us. You say, Amen. We're here to receive these blessings. So each of you, what? Why is it that you're suffering? What are you suffering from? What difficulty are you uh, trapped in? That you're saying things aren't going to work out for you? Let's be a servant. Let's be a slave. Let's greet the person next to us. Let's be a slave. Let's greet the person next to us. Let us be a servant. Let us be a slave. To the person next to us, when you say, let's be a slave, what do you say? The, do they say, you You become one? So let's see. It, let's say it one more time. I'm a servant. I'm a servant. I'm a servant. I'm the servant. I'm the servant. So today, when you go home, the wife to the husband, the wife, the husband to the wife, the parents to the children, the children to the parents, the, the even the the best friend and the friends who are your enemies, and when you ask for forgiveness that I have not been a proper slave to you, a servant to you, a deacon is saying here, when they do something and they put some, when there's argument, there's money in there. Oh, because I'm, I have a lot of greed. Please forgive me when they say that. And they say, the. The, the the person that's like like an uh, the, the person that's like an enemy ends up becoming a lamb. So be a servant. Truly, be a servant that's like an owner. So so I went to a restaurant and uh, I went to how delicious it's a three uh, three thousand five hundred one food and yet they had bulgogi. Uh, go place, and then I was going to take some chopsticks there, and she says, "Oh, don't take it; it's not been boiled yet." I realized that there's such a servant, and the lady there she says, "Oh, we have to sterilize it first. The, hus the, the husband said, "I like that because they're both servants, male and female servants. So some people they go there. They say it doesn't even taste well. He says it's three thousand. How delicious is uh, the full dish of bulgogi and uh, all the full course meal for 3,501? A servant is when you're trying not to harm the owner. 
Says, how are you a servant if you just only fulfill your own wishes here this hour right now you can do well your business will do well your problem will be turned into answers let's all be servant let's all be slaves because of Jesus let's be a slave do you say amen wherever you go because of Jesus let's be a servant let's be a slave Wherever we go, let's see, those who are not a slave or a servant, they just do whatever actions they want. And, and when you cleanse it all out, and, and don't cleanse and look, look at them like a fox when they spill something, but the fox, even when it's uh, retreating, it still looks back. When you retreat, then just retreat without doing that. So let's each of you, let's be a servant, a slave. So nothing will, everything will work out. You'll be even more successful. You'll be set high. Let's all receive the, this blessings. From today on, let's all receive this blessings. Let us pray. Father, I have not lived as a servant. By words, by my word mouth, I say, Jesus, Jesus, but things didn't work out for me, and nor did my things, did, did things work out for my children. But from today on, let me be the lowest and most humble servant, no matter what it is. Help us to all receive the promise of being set high uh, and being the best and set high above all the nations. Father, help us to be chosen by you, Lord God. And even though we are put in a rotten place that will not be stained by that, what, help us to be a godly person. Help us to be obedient to this mystery and help us to repent the sins of my ancestors and my own sins and be able to receive all the blessings and handle it. And when that happens, Lord, you said, between... You said that you will make you, uh, friends between you and me, God, Father God. There's only my frustrating situation. I can only tell my friend, Almighty God, when you become my friend, the mystery I can confess, a mystery that nobody else knows. And that confession, there's no gossip that comes around. And Almighty God, you resolve that problem. Let us all be church members who receive uh, blessings and receive answers to our prayers. In the name of Jesus, in thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen.